So I purchased a uh, SEMA X5C1 in hopes to get some aerial photography on the cheap. I already had an 808 camera that I've been using on my Walkera helicopter. Um, the quadcopters give much better results with, with cameras much more stable. Um, so this, this camera has been affixed with a um, fisheye lens which is quite heavy. But I went ahead and decided to purchase a bigger battery for it from Amazon. So the stock battery is a 3.7 volt 500 milliamps and the Amazon battery is a 650 milliamp um, width and length is the same but you can tell it's quite a bit thicker it does however fit with some persuasion in the canopy or in the uh, battery compartment so this first flight I'm going ahead and uh, flying with the uh, 650 milliamp battery and I'm going to set my stopwatch here on my phone Okay, and we'll go ahead and bind it and give some flight with the uh, the 650 milliamp battery. To see how much longer times we get with a stock battery. the video up it's depleted the battery landed and we're gonna bring it over and check the time the 650 milliamp battery has ran for seven minutes and 33 seconds a little less so next comparison I'll load in the uh, stock battery which is a 500 milliamp battery and we'll see how long it goes. The um, the flights I'm doing is pretty much the same. We got about five mile hour winds, so there is definitely wind. Um, doing a lot of turns, a lot of loops, a lot of movement, and a lot of um, high altitude flights with this battery, with both of them. Try to get the kind of same results out of both the batteries. <laughs> battery is depleted we landed at six minutes and 35 seconds actually came down pretty hard so um, it died pretty quickly so there you have it with the um, 650 milliamp batteries you get a good solid minute flight time with the extra load with the camera and the heavy weight 